We're Trent and Allie, and building a cabin in the mountains is our dream come true. They're forecasting snow in the mountains. Which means from here on out, our life is a nightmare. The house is starting to take shape, and once concrete is finished, we can take over the project ourselves. I'm nervous. Our first test is plumbing. Luckily, we know exactly what we're doing. We have to go based on how it sounds. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. In between all this construction, we've been working hard on something else. Everyone has been asking about a van update. Our original tiny home on wheels is still in Argentina, but maybe for not much longer. Subscribe to our channel and come along today as we get one step closer to winter and to forming the walls of our house. It's like really happening. <laughs> it's really happening. <laughs> it's starting right now. It is. <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. I mean, I hope it's a good morning. I always say good morning in our videos because it's morning for us, but the reality is is most people probably aren't watching this in the morning. But it's good morning for us. So good morning. Today we have a huge day planned. It is another really big step in the process of building our house in the mountains. We are going to be going up and meeting with the inspector today and they're going to be inspecting the forums for the walls of the foundation and all the rebar and all the technical mumbo jumbo that has to do with that. You also- call them forums, but they're just forms, right? Forms. 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 Like a forum that you write online is what I thought no, you were saying no. for like the first year that you were talking about no, these things. No, forms. So like, oh, we're going up for a forum, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is marriage. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna be going up there, we're gonna be meeting with the inspector, and then actually, we have some really bad news. Tomorrow, when they pour the walls, Kevin, our general contractor, was supposed to be there to make sure everything's done right, to make sure all the strapping is in the right place, and he has actually been called to a separate job down in southern Utah, so all of the responsibility falls on me and I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's a little bit frightening. And before we get started today, I wanted to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Helix. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences based on your body type and your sleeping style. You actually take a little quiz online, it's Helix's sleep quiz, where you tell them your preferred bed size, your sleep position, your mattress firmness, and other personal preferences. We took the Helix sleep quiz and we were actually paired up with the Helix Midnight Lux. This mattress is really soft, but it's also firm and supportive. I feel like my back is being supported. I didn't have my arm fall asleep at all last night. I really like this mattress. With the Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, which means if you don't like it, if you don't love it within a hundred days, you can send it back and get your money back. Also, it comes with a 10 year warranty. Whoa. So thanks again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to try Helix mattress, make sure you click the link in our description and you will get $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Now, we have a little bit of a coffee predicament. This right here, that may as well be the coffee graveyard. I got on the phone with Breville and I basically got them to warranty this machine. So they've sent out a new one, but it's not gonna be here until tomorrow, which means we're having to go and buy coffee. And it's like $10 a day. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I think that's probably what we gotta do next. These new tires kind of made it a little bit of an extra step, huh? It's way higher. It's like a little bit of an extra <laughs> you <gotta> jump up <laughs> in. It's kind of fun though, I always wanted a monster truck. We got some coffee from the coffee shop down the road, which is actually called the coffee shop. Very funny. But we actually have something else a little bit more exciting that we need to do right now. Everyone has been asking about a van update. We left our van in Argentina and had to emergency evacuate back to the United States at the beginning of COVID back in mid-March. It's now mid-September which is heartbreaking because the van is our home. We lived in it for two years, we built it all out ourselves, and we want to be back in the van, really, or at least have the van here with us. That actually might be possible. 
<laughs> We're doing our best. We're trying to jump through some legal hoops right now. We think we might have found a solution to reunite us with the van. I'm not getting my hopes up. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. We are slowly starting a very complicated paperwork process and we need to go to UPS and get a couple of documents notarized. Maybe we'll see the van in many weeks. We'll see. It's exciting to start the process though. All right, let's do this. First stop to getting Pamela back. You have a notary here? Argentina, we're not allowed to travel there because of coronavirus. And so this is like the legal hoops we're having to jump through. And we have to send all these documents to the consulate and they send it back and then we send it to Argentina. Hopefully next time we see you, we'll be mailing these to Argentina. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Looks like we've done all we can do. Now it's in the hands of an apostille, which is basically an international notary. Hopefully we hear back from them in a week or something. Honestly, I don't know if we'll actually get the van back, but we're trying and that's exciting. If we can't get it back, maybe we could get some photos of it or <laughs> something to hang on the wall as a memory. It would be very, very heartbreaking, but we're doing everything in our power. We had planned originally to just fly back down to Argentina and be with the van ourselves. Argentina continues to delay when its lockdown restrictions will be lifted. I don't think we can go down there. So we're trying to ship the van to us. Basically we have until November. Our temporary registration in Argentina expires. And if you don't renew a temporary registration before it expires in Argentina, the country absorbs your asset. So like they own our van if we don't renew the tip or take the van out of the country. And we have to be in the country to renew the tip. And we can't enter the country because of coronavirus. So we're doing everything we can to get this done before November 1st. <laughs> so uh, keep us in your thoughts and <laughs> we're gonna start heading up to the property. Gotta go meet the inspector. All right guys, so it is 1.12 p.m. Our inspection is scheduled for 1.30 p.m. We're almost up to the property and we get an email that says inspection complete. We're pretty much almost there, so we're just gonna head up and look at everything, take you guys on a little tour of the forums. I'm hoping uh, Juan say, Carlos- Say it again, forums. The forums. <laughs> Hopefully Carlos and his crew are there putting the final touches on everything and I could talk to them for a minute. And then tomorrow is when the magic happens. Real showbiz takes place. <laughs> Swimming pool. <laughs> there are a couple unexpected complications today. One, Kevin is not going to be here for the rest of the week, which is fine. Kevin's kind of like our safety blanket at this point. I think we have it under control. Anytime a question comes up, we defer to Kevin because he has a lot of experience. Even if Tran or I end up making the final call, it's just nice to have some added input. So the fact that he's not here this week is a nice test to see uh, how confident we are in our own decision making. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're running into a bit of a problem already. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there's gonna be uh, the, the sill. Um, the, uh, the window forms for the house, 
or the wrong size. The, the problem is if they take the wall down and they take the window forms out, that he would have to make the forms out of like two by eights and then there won't be like a window sill. I'm good, Trent, how are you? I'm doing okay. I have a uh, minor problem with our, our window order. A set of plans that went to the concrete guys didn't have the sizes written down, so they made those windows four by four and we quoted those windows at four by five. They're debating on whether they tear the wall down and we have a pour scheduled for tomorrow morning. All right, so this could have been a huge disaster. Not only would they have to take this wall apart, but they would have to change the window form. We have a pour scheduled for tomorrow. It, basically, we just would have ran out of time and we wouldn't have been able to do it properly. Luckily, I was able to get in touch with the window manufacturer just in time. They haven't started making our windows yet, or at least those two windows. We were able to change the size. I did have to make the windows smaller, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not going to cost us an arm and a leg. It's not going to delay us from being able to pour the walls or anything like that. We're getting some sleeves put in the wall to run sewer pipe out of uh, structure number two. Things are moving along. So we were approved for the foundation. We can actually start pouring the walls now. And it's funny, I just saw an email come through that Kevin has scheduled the next inspection for the plumbing rough in. Are you excited <laughs> about that? Which means the pressure is on. Come Monday, I've got to start roughing in the plumbing drains, getting everything set, and then the inspector's gonna come and check my work. <laughs> and let's just say I'm not a plumber. <laughs> I guess we just gotta get in the truck and head back to my grandma's and start studying the plans. We got some responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's really happening. It's starting right now. It is. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> There's really nothing like waking up to a freshly made latte in the morning. Actually, a freshly made latte made by Trent in the morning. Today, we're getting a lot done because things are happening very quickly. It's cold out. There's possible snow forecasted for next week. We have to move really quickly. And luckily, we do have a concrete pour scheduled for this afternoon. Unfortunately, before we can get up there and pour the concrete, we have a bunch of other things we have to do. It's actually a holiday weekend and we need to buy a ton of plumbing items because they're gonna be closed next week when Trent needs to do all the plumbing. How confident are you that you know what you need to get? I'm not confident. <laughs> we, like, we need Kevin here? It, no, and Kevin doesn't know either. Ke that's the thing is Kevin's not a plumber. So really the reason you hire a plumber is to make sure everything is up to code or installed to code. I can definitely build a system that will work, no problem. But there might be like <laughs> specific fittings and different things that go along with code that I'm just not familiar with. And I'm trying to get in touch with my friend Mike and uh, having him give me some little consultation of... Uh, maybe a little outline of like what I shouldn't do, but he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So I'm gonna go buy some parts and we're gonna set up the rough plumbing and we're gonna see if it passes inspection. I mean, basically like we just need to buy out the entire store and keep the receipt so that after Monday, once it reopens after the holiday, we can just return whatever you don't need. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know? But I mean, you can buy up the whole store. You still gotta know which parts to use. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're really just taking a stab in the dark. But I think we're gonna make it work. A PVC uh, stab. I think it'll be okay. We're stabbing some PVC in the dark. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love this store. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. These all look like finishing appliances and they're gorgeous. But something tells me this is not what we need to get right now. <laughs> 
I think we found the section we need to actually be in. Fittings and pipes and washers and nuts. It's not as exciting as finishing appliances, but we'll get there eventually. Little by little, piece by piece. You don't know? That's not a good sign. Um, this is gonna be very stressful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I need. She need me to stop <laughs> joking to around. <laughs> I don't know, baby. How sure are you about that? Sixty <laughs> percent. It's a tuba. It's uh, ABS though, I need PVC. <laughs> you have to go based on how it sounds. <laughs> sounds pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but Trent is stressing. This is super fun for me because none of the weight is falling on my shoulders, so I just get to watch it all play out. We're plumbers now, baby. I don't even. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's definitely uh, the pressure is on. We are really good at winging it, and today's the first day. Where it's like, wow, this project has very high consequences, and we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <sighs> if we have to do it twice, it's probably still cheaper than paying someone to do it once. It's the only thing keeping me going right now. We thought we were gonna be a couple hours early for our concrete pour that's scheduled at 2.30 this afternoon. It's only 12 noon and our pump truck is here. Hopefully that means concrete is here. I mean, that could be a problem or that could mean that the concrete's right behind him and they're gonna be here in a few minutes, which would be awesome because I don't wanna just like sit around and watch the sun move through the air for two hours. <laughs> but uh... You need more of that in your life. Let's get out there and start getting prepared, huh? Okay. <laughs> Everything's going well for you? Yeah. Good? You're ready. Ready? Yeah. Sí. Listo. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Estamos. Just to vibrate uh -huh. the concrete. Oh, yeah. cool. You put it in like the pylons for the deck or something? Well, like when they're pouring the concrete, the forms for the windows, <laughs> there's like a big gap under there. Okay. So they basically plug this thing in and stick this down in there and it vibrates and it shakes the concrete so that the concrete will level out. Yeah. Very complicated process. It's an interesting looking piece of equipment. <laughs> It's called a vibrator. <laughs> it's crazy, we were watching the news last night with Trent's grandparents and they were saying that next week they are forecasting snow in the mountains. Possible. Possible snow in the mountains. Which is terrifying because that could be a huge problem for when we start framing. We haven't even gotten to the framing phase yet and they're forecasting snow. So today it's super hot and dry. Feels like the heat of summer. It's supposed to be a hundred for the next two days. And then, so that, that's uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then Wednesday, it's supposed to be 66 oh. in the valley, which means like 50 up here, which means at night, definitely below freezing. And from here on out, our life is a nightmare. There's that attitude of positivity I love. Doing my best. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to be here Monday? Huh? Monday? No. You're not coming on Monday? Okay. Monday? What did you mean Monday? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Luna's. I think it's this one tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're gonna take everything down and we'll never see you again. 
<laughs> These guys are pretty confident in everything being approved and ready and safe and secure. Uh, however, uh, we were just talking about how much they need to start with the windows and the foundation and Carlos was saying, well, it's not my house, whatever you think, which is very encouraging. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. I'm just standing here. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. <laughs> the day keeps getting better and better. We ran out of concrete. They were on the last little section of pouring the walls for structure number two. Luckily, structure number one is done. Everything is poured. That's really what we care about right now, honestly. So we've ordered a little bit more concrete and luckily I think we'll be able to get that done today. It's just gonna take a little bit longer. That's one thing. The second thing is uh, we're scrambling now to try to get in touch with any other concrete company that can try to schedule a pour for any earlier than 10 days from now. Basically, people are just building like crazy around here. Two weeks? Oh, everyone's trying to help, but it's definitely um, the worst time to be building. And we are really getting close down to the wire with the weather. So all the concrete companies are just bucked out a week and a half, two weeks. As many of you guys probably already know, this house is extremely complicated. There's a lot of very sophisticated hardware and strapping and all different types of things that need to go into the foundation. I know basically next to nothing about most of this stuff. And it was, you know, the responsibility was placed on my shoulders to make sure all of this was done correctly because Kevin's not here. And I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I know the strong wall needs to go in the corner and it looks like the hardware for the strong wall is there. It, it looks like it's like full of concrete, so I don't know if that's a problem, but I hope it's not a problem. We'll see, I guess. The big problem that we have now is our excavator it's supposed to come back on Wednesday and backfill so that we can pour the floors, so that we can start framing. It's like these couple things need to happen before Allie and myself can just start running with it and start framing like crazy. And the next thing we have to wait on is Curtis, the excavator, to come back and backfill. Now, all this time he's said, like, let me know the day they pour those walls. I'll be there five days after. So we call him today. We're like, they poured the walls. We need you in five days. He's like, oh, I don't think I can be there in five days. It's going to be like nine days. You should call him. I'm getting pretty angry. You should call him and be like, bro, come on. Does his face look angry? No. I'm pretty angry. <laughs> Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. Apple, try the other ones. Manzanas. That one's. E. Naranja? No. It's a. Uh, uh, ap apricot. Uh huh. Apricot. He trata okay. los negros. ¿Qué es eso? Ah, uh, pasas. Pasas. Wow. Uh -huh. Gracias, Miguel. At least everybody out here is having a great time feeding each other, keeping each other positive and appreciating that at least today is a gorgeous day, which is really all we can do is just look at the silver lining as much as possible and uh, enjoy some fruit. So while everyone was back at the property waiting for that last concrete truck to show up so that they could finish off building number two's foundation. We decided to run down to the gas station and pick up a couple of 12 packs of some Modelo and some Corona, because these guys said that was their favorite beers. It's Friday, these guys have been killing it and doing an awesome job and basically 
they were lifesavers. If they hadn't shown up to do our concrete work, we would be in even bigger trouble than we are right now. So we're really thankful for them and we're showing them our appreciation by grabbing them some beer and we're probably gonna go have a beer with them as soon as they finish up with that last concrete truck. Why? How's it look, Trent? Well, it looks really good, but I don't know what I'm looking for. So <laughs> it's the best, and it's the worst concrete job I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. The bolts up there were really crooked, but I think that's just kind of the way it goes. When you do the framing, you have to use the hammer. Uh, uh, very professional. That's an experienced job site beer drink. <laughs> they like how you open that. This probably looks a little better. <laughs> oh, oh, it's almost look. gone. Come on. Gracias. It's Guatemala to me. Dice que cuánto le van a pagar, eh? Pues vino YouTube. Hacemos el famoso. Gracias. Buen día, ¿no? Tomorrow. Huh? Okay, mañana. Mañana. Yeah. Okay, gracias a usted. Noche. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Gracias para todos. You need anything? Necesito algo más? No. You want me to put your, you want me to I dump only, your YouTube money I, in the bed yeah. of the truck? <laughs> <laughs> I need my money. <laughs> That's it. Remember, when I see you next time, you bring my money. Yeah. Perfecto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thanks, Carlos. Ciao. Those guys were amazing. We are so grateful they were able to help us out, get everything ready so that we just have a couple things left to do. I'm actually kind of sad. I felt like me and Carlos were becoming really good friends and then <laughs> Carlos is like, all right, I'm never going to see you again. Bye. He's like, oh, I thought we were friends. <laughs> so maybe we'll see them again one day. Yeah. But they did a great job on the walls and the footings. I'm really excited about that. They're going to come back and strip everything tomorrow, and we're not going to be around. So the next time we see you, we're going to be up here, rough fitting in all of the plumbing drain lines, getting basically wow. the first load of responsibility placed on my shoulders. I can already feel the anxiety building. <laughs> But, but it's cool, we have a lot of progress happening on our house and some some progress happening on our van. Any progress I'll take at this point. We've been waiting for any movement with the Argentinian government for months and now it's like, oh, there's a sliver of a chance that maybe we could get our van. There's light at the end of I the don't tunnel. Know. There's we're light trying. at the end of the tunnel. We're I don't know hard. if we're even heading in the right direction in the tunnel, <gasps> but there's light in the end of the tunnel and we're heading for it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we're gonna get the van back. We got our walls and our footings in. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to show us by giving us a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. It's the mama and her baby. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Wow. Más grande que los nubes, pero más grande que los nubes.